Hi. Hi, Shay. I love my bracelet. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Oh my goodness, it made my day, girl. Like I got emotional and I started tearing up. It is my colors. I love it so much. And it matches my watch perfectly. Like, oh my goodness, you made this? I love it. So cute, girly. Well, thank you, thank you. Well, give me a little update on you. What's been going on? And you're wearing the colors right now too. Look at us, just matchy matchy. Um, so I've been working on the the screw thingies. Red zone and screw on the slant board. Okay. Yeah. Um, I got a chance to do full pitch on Sunday and Monday, and both of the times, um, I was kind of getting like off balance at the end okay and um uh uh my mom recorded some videos and pitching and like my glove is like out not like in line okay okay so let's go back to the first thing and then we'll talk about the glove I know you already know the answer but I want to talk you through it if you're falling off and you're falling forward, what do we need to get a little higher to help with our resistance and our landing? Knee. Your stride knee. Okay. And so something you can think about is whether you got to get your knee up above the catcher's head, which is kind of tall. Okay. But still, it could be like a visual for that. Or you can always imagine too, like, you know, that drill that you've done with the plyo ball on your knee and you're like pulling it up. Oh, I've yeah. I've done that before. Okay. Yeah. So you're thinking about doing that drill like in your pitch to help get that knee up a little higher. So that's going to solve you from falling forward. Okay. Is we got to get that knee up because we know you can land properly. Okay. But maybe when you were full pitching, were you on like in your cleats or no on turf? Because I was on like, I've, like, have you seen the like pitching like the mats? Like, yeah. The mats. Yeah. Okay. Like it had like the line and then it had the mound too. Yep. Okay. Um, and so it could have just been maybe we didn't warm up. Prof, do you think your warm up was really solid, like drill wise? Well, I did my normal warm up, which is my flips for change up and fastball, and then I did the like you stand and then you like throw it, and then I did the K's for change up and drop ball. I mean change up and fastball and then I like did some screws and then full pitch so I think we need to add a stride drill in there okay so whether you do drive outs and you're trying to drive that knee up you do a couple of those you always have to do your hops and sprints too I guarantee if you did your hops and sprints you would have gotten that knee up just automatically a little bit more okay so make sure you do at least I always have my girls in person do five um before like games and just full speed pitching in person. I know in the academy, I don't have that in every single lesson plan for y'all, but if we want to be an explosive pitcher, we have to train explosive movements. And so adding in another, and you got to think too, like the warm up that you just gave me, it's okay, but we might need to add in like maybe instead of doing 10 reps of everything, you do like five reps and you add in like two or three more explosive drills. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Well, and I love that you were doing the screws. So that's considered to me like a explosive drill, or that's like a movement pattern. Cause K's are kind of basic. I want to make sure that you're doing like a pattern with them. Um, but you're focusing on the little things that you know, that we've been working on in lessons, whether it's your glove hand, you put a heavy ball on your glove side, or you really work on that pull feeling. If you have your bands with you, then remember the drill that we did the other day, I just had you hold the bands and feel yourself pull it in. Oh Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You can warm up when you're doing your band work because you do that every single time before you play for your arm. Go ahead and crank out some glove stuff just to really help okay. emphasize that as well. Okay. Okay. So why don't we do before we get started, let's do some of the glove pulls with the band. Okay. We'll just do about five and then we'll do five stride drills. So wait. So yeah, you're gonna choke up a little bit more on it. So back up wait. a hair. You're right. And you're doing from your K position, bend your knees and you're just pulling it in. So when you snap, squeeze, pull. Good. 
Go ahead and like snap the ball. Like feel yourself get knee to knee at the end. There you go. That's how I would do these. Four, good, three more. Two, nice. One, good. Are those shorts or is that a squirt? It's a, I don't know. It's so cute. I need a pair of those. You gotta ask mama where you got them. Amazon. Amazon, they look so comfortable, so cute. Yeah. Okay, so just for time's sakes, so we're only gonna do five. I would probably do between like 10 to 15 before a game. Okay, okay. just really feel that muscle activation on your left side. Okay. Um, now with your plyo ball, let's do some of those drills where we put it in our knee and we try to throw it forward. With like, hold on, let me grab my glove. That one's gonna be a little big. Do you have like a plyo ball? That, so that's a connection. Oh, like side. we put it in our, oh, okay. I was thinking of a different drill. That's it. Which one were you thinking though? Just so I know. Where are you like? Snaps and squeeze. Yeah. Like that one. So that's not a bad one either. Okay. So that works front side resistance, but I want you to do, and it's a mix. Okay. So it really kind of depends on exactly. And I didn't see you pitching full speed. So like it could have been that drill that I would want you to use, but I'm taking a guess that it was our stride knee not getting high enough. So what you'll do is like, you'll get in a flamingo position and you'll have the plyo ball in your left knee and your goal from the flamingo is you're going to drive and throw that ball forward when you drive out. So like, like the ply ball that I pitch with or like a heavier one? The heavier one will be in your knee. Okay. Like Left here? Knee. No, it's going to be behind. Let's see. Like uh, this? Yes. And you're going to oh. kick it forward. There you go. So I'd like you to try to push a little bit more full speed. So that was like a good drill. Okay. I say that's 50%. Give me 100% and try to get that ball in front of you. So you want that ball to land in front of you. You're going to have to drive harder. There you go. Good. And I like you using a heavier roll just because it makes you use your muscles more. So what I'm getting is you to squeeze that hamstring and you have to pull that hamstring up to get that knee up. There you go. I'll take those. Just make sure we try to land on that power line, okay? If that ball's too heavy, you can go with a lighter one. Hinge your hips back and then go forward. Do oh. you know what I mean by that? So if we're standing here, I want you to feel like a little, just to help with momentum, hinge and then fire. I'm... You got it. It's tough balancing. I'm making you squeeze a lot of muscles here. There you go. That was way better. So we'll do one more of those. Then I'll have you do snaps and squeezes because I think both of those drills are really good. This is helping more your launch angle and then the snaps and squeezes helps more resistance. Beautiful. Okay, so now you can grab that connection ball and we'll do the snaps and squeezes. And I want you to really, so you got to think, I was just talking about your hamstring on your left leg. Squeezing that ball and your, like the plyo ball, the drill that you just did, that's activating your hamstring at the beginning of the pitch to help get the knee up. Now with the connection ball, it's going to have your hamstring activate pulling in at the end of the pitch to help strong front side. Okay. You following me on all those terms? Yeah. Perfect. Should I like back up? How far away should I be? Yeah, go ahead and back up a little bit. To a catcher, you'd probably be about three-fourths distance. Beautiful. Nice. Squeeze that ball hard. I want you to really feel that hamstring and your booty burning a little. Good. That was better. Good activation. Good. Very nice. That was a good pitch. I don't know why it ricocheted all the way over there. It must have hit a side of the wall. It's 
just sometimes it does that because we're pitching so close. Yeah. And I'm pitching into carpet. Mm-hmm. Is that what's behind there? It's like carpet behind the wall? It's carpet and then cardboard. Gotcha. Beautiful. Last one, best one right here, and then we can go full. You're growing on me, girl. You feel like you're getting taller? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Do you have any idea how tall you are? Five, four or five. You are five, five already? Five, four or five, five. I don't know yet. I, I don't know. I am five, five and a half, girl. Oh my goodness. If you're taller than me next time I see you in person, I'm going to cry. I know I'm not that tall. I wish I was taller as a pitcher. Um, I was just like looking at you and I'm like, you just look, because I know you haven't grown that much in a week. Okay. But I'm like, you just look taller, like looking at you. I'm proud of you, girl. Um, Alrighty. So let's do two dry pitches really quick. And I want you to try to put both those concepts together. Your launch angle, get the knee up and at the end, pull the, pull the hamstring in. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, I, that wasn't, I, that wasn't a dry pitch. I no, I know, but you were it. feeling it through. That's why it was beautiful. I like that you were feeling it. Beautiful. Nice landing. Good front foot. Did mom, did you see in the videos if your front foot was turning at all? Um, oh, no. um. I don't think it was. I, when I was doing fall, I could, like, feel it turning, but I fixed it. There you like, go. my mom, like, held my foot down while I did the screws. Mm-hmm. And you could feel it good? Beautiful. How yeah. was accuracy? Um, well, I tried the pyramid. Okay. Um, it was a little, a lot of tough. You, I know that bullpen's tough, but that it's one of my favorites, okay? And the reason why is because it is tough, and it's mentally preparing you, and you're just your goal is just trying to get 1% better every time. I know we already had a talk about it last session, so I'm not going to talk too much about it with you right now unless you'd like me to, um, but it is a tough bullpen. And even if, like, so let's say you did that bullpen, even if it was a little tough, like your accuracy hitting your spots, I just want to know accuracy in the strike zone. Like, how confident did you feel in the strike zone? pretty good I mean my drop balls were a little like trying to get the spots on the drop balls were a little rough change-ups were weren't the best but like I could hit some of them so that was good I can if you want I can my mom can send you a picture of the pyramid yes. like what pitches I have always not if I want I always want you to send those to me okay I always want to see what you're doing um now with because I was just talking about drop ball spots with somebody not long ago if you're if you can hit your fastball spots and if you're confident with your fastball locations especially the ones in the fours low inside low outside there is no difference with drop ball besides you are pulling your fingers off the ball quicker okay like that is it and if you have that in your brain that it is the exact same pitch just a little tighter spin you will be able to hit your spot stronger but because we oh. have it, it as like a different pitch, and I know that's like in your brain, it's a different pitch. And my brain, it's not a different pitch. I hope you know that. But that's like my college brain thinking. I named the pitch by the spin, not the result. So it's like, if you have that mindset, that it's the same pitch as your fastball and everything is the same besides how quick your fingers peel off the ball, you will be able to hit your insides and outsides stronger. But you have to okay. believe in that. If you start thinking it's a different pitch and you're trying to make it drop and you're trying to force the drop, then it's going to be tougher locations. But if you're focusing uh, on your fingers, which I'm going to unblur my screen for a second to show you this. So what you can, what I want you to do really quick with the ball or your plyo. So fast. I have a ball in my grab. room like that. Okay. I'm going to grab it. Yeah. I'll be right it. back. Yeah. So fastballs you're letting the ball just kind of roll off your fingers like it's just coming through drop balls your fingertips okay so see how like the first pads of my fingers are at the tops of the seams right here you're feeling it like I want you to do that with the ball so you're underneath so you're on top right now get underneath and just feel the pads pull 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 yes quick quick 
that feeling and then the reason why I say snap on top or spin on top is for you to get that pull quick and then we're pulling up so it's like we're pulling it whoopsies (laughs) okay so you're peeling it off your fingers and then the catch on top catch on top is just to emphasize your fingers ripping through the ball okay So that's the only difference. And that's something you can do if you're like, why is my drop not dropping? Do your spins and catches, but also just feel how quick your fingers are pulling off the seams. Because fastballs, they come through the seams like this. Watch fastballs again, through the seams, where drop balls are pulling through the, or excuse me, through the seams. (laughs) Hold on, I'm getting my wording confusing. You're going, not, that's where I'm messing up. Through the ball and through the seams. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, because fastballs, we want to be more straight and direct, and drop balls, we want to have a tighter rotation. But see how drops and fast, they spin the same way? It's the same spin of the pitch. It's just one is quicker because our fingertips are pulling through the pitch more, and then one is just straighter because we want the pitch to stay a little bit more flat. Okay. Okay, that's the only difference. So if you have that in your brain, you will be able to – hit your locations more because I know you're confident with those fastballs okay but we just have to think drop ball is literally a fastball besides our fingers and our eye level bring your eyes down quicker fingers and if you throw your drop ball flat so what next pitch peel quicker peel quicker peel quicker peel quicker sound good yeah perfect okay so let's go back you owe me one more dry pitch and then we'll go full There you go. Nice. All righty, girl. Full pitch. We'll go through two fastballs, two change-ups, and two drop balls. Big deep breath before you go. There you go. Nice. I know you don't want me to, I mean, you don't, like, you want me to, like, let it be loose, but when I try that, I just don't, like, I just can't do that. I just, like, stay. You will be able to do it. The older you get, the stronger you get, okay? But my big thing is I don't want your muscles to tense to force the ball, okay? Okay. That's my big thing. I don't want you to have a force finished. I want you to have a strong snap, and then it's like a loosey-goosey arm to protect your shoulder and just to protect your muscles from getting extremely tight, okay? okay? One more fastball. Let's go fastball inside. Hey, Miss Swingback came out of the blue. Uh Uh-huh. We got one more fastball right here. Elbow, 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 elbow. There you go. That was stronger. It was quicker. You had more body control. Your swingback went all the way behind your back and turned on that pitch. You still threw a strike, but I don't think it was as quick as that last one was. Okay, you want one more or change up? One more. Okay, you got it right here. Good breath. Beautiful. And your foot stayed straighter on that one too. Nice, nice. All righty, change up. Let's go change up outside. Big deep breath. I'll take that. Good. Now, the only thing I'm going to say, because I'm looking at your power line, Mama's going to have to re-put some tape down there on you because you're just tearing it up, girl, in that toe drag. The bright thing is you're tearing it up and it's nice and straight, so we know you're dragging straight. That one, though, if you're looking at the line, I do think that you stepped a little too far to the outside for the outside change-up, okay? Uh Remember that power line. For outside, your toes are on, your heels are off, and for inside, your heel is on, your toe is off, so it's a slight little adjustment. There you go. That was better. I'll take that. And it's tough being so close because your target, you want these to be a little bit more outside, but if you were 40 feet, they would be outside still. Okay. You're overstriding just a hair, but your body's connecting good. So I'm okay with it right now. 
Um, let's go drop ball. So do some spins and catches, and I want you to add a little tilt into your spin and catch. Do you remember we talked about that? Wait, sorry, what? Did I talk to you about that? So I want you to do spins and catches with your left leg in front. So left leg in front, like your stride position. And I'll, oh, like yes. Now I want you to feel a little pressure go onto the ball of your left foot. Not a lot, but a little shift, little shift, little shift on the left side when you catch. Just a little, good. Good, feel that pressure. So your body is not shifting, but the weight of your foot is. Okay. Good, two more. Good, beautiful. So I want you to feel that when you land. So your body's still normal, but you're feeling just a little bit more pressure on the ball of that foot. Okay. Good. There you go. I'll take that. Nice. Good. I kind of forgot midway that I was going to do a drop ball. It's okay. That kind of, Again, we can't, I, at the end of the day, your body, I could tell that you needed to spin your fingers quicker, but we might have been lucky and that pitch still dropped 40 feet. It's hard to tell this close. Okay. okay. So now you know. Let's look at the bottom blue square. Try to peel your fingers on top of the bottom tape. There you go. That was more drop ball. You can tell by the way it ricochets. Good. We'll do one more. Let's go drop ball inside. Again, think fastball. Look low. Peel quick. That's okay. So that would have slipped a little too much. That one, did you try to spin it or did you force yeah, it? Yeah, I forced it. You forced it so you can feel it. Okay. So that adjustment, I want you to just shimmy it out. Shimmy your shoulders. Good. Big deep breath right here. Think fast, look low, spin quick. Beautiful. There we go, Miss Shay.